Whiskey Drone 2.0. We've figured out all the shortcomings, the flaws that were definitely Chad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> the problem was looseness. It was tethered by some some loose straps here and it was affecting the gyro. So now we're going to uh, tighten that all up. The bracing system with the strength of nature. Chad, we have the drone. Go, 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 go. The burning question in everybody's mind. Burning question. Everyone asks this question. To How long out. does whiskey last? Yes. In now a bottle. Uh, there are three things. Count them. Three. One, two. Like a Sesame Street episode. Three things in a bottle of whiskey. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> Count them. One. Ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh, uh. <laughs> so the three things are temperature, mm -hmm. light, and uh, and air. Temperature, light, and air. Temperature, light, and air. Okay. So, you don't want to let them get hot or overly, or I should say, you don't want dramatic temperature fluctuation, and you want them like cellar temperature. Now, between temperature, light, and air, is there one of the three that is, this is the biggest game changer? Air. Air, okay. Uh, and lights, ah, no, it's all, because here's the thing, if you, if you stick them in your house, and you've got a nice uh, windowed kitchen, yeah. and you sit your whiskey on top of the fridge, you're fucked. <laughs> because you got all the sunlight streaming through and hitting the bottles, and the sunlight and the UV rays will affect the tannins in whiskey. Mm. Now there's less tannins in whiskey than there are in wine, but it will still affect it, Okay. right? Yeah. And it's on top of a fridge, which is a machine, and it's by the ceiling, the hottest part of the room. So you're gonna heat up the whiskey, expose it to UV rays, and if it's half full, the air is going to start screwing with things. So you and I have experienced this in the past. Not, not we don't usually cook the whiskeys with heat or tons mm -hmm. of sunlight, but even just with air, we'll get a whiskey that looks like that. It it just got lost in the yeah. You got a month or two before that tastes totally different. Yeah. Well, I would be surprised you even get a month or two out of that amount of whiskey. No, no. So a whiskey that's opened but more than half full, if it's in a cool and dark place, yeah. could easily last you one to two to three years. Oh, okay. So, dim, cool, uh, and not a lot of air in the bottle. Not a lot of air in the bottle. Right? So what it's about like- Now, a lot of people are like, well, what if you do those things where you replace the air with gas, and it, yeah, it's it's fine, and you can do those things, but it's actually better to just seal the bottle top. Now, are corks, for the most part, are they- So here's the thing about corks. In wine, you want to store them like this to keep the cork wet and yeah. thus keep the seal tight. Right. You do not want to do that with whiskey because it will eat the cork. Okay. Because that alcohol content. Yeah. So what you want to do is about at least every two to three weeks, just get the cork wet and set it back down. Okay. Right? You're good. Now, even better, if you're going to not drink it for a long time, like that one special bottle you save for your anniversary all every year, mm -hmm. then put some wax parafilm over the top of it and just, sure, you're fine, right? Do you have some right here? Now, uh, I have it up in the vault. We got a drone. If it's less than half full, if it's down to a third or less, right. you've maybe got three to six months. Okay. And uh, other than that, then just drink it. So if you're really serious about your whiskey bottles, you will only open one at a time. But honestly, yeah, it's boring. That's boring. Yeah. You want to be able to do A/B comparisons. Sure. And just keep it in a dark place. Your if, own little special. And if it's not done within two years, then you probably didn't drink it enough. And uh, so, like in the vault, I've got uh, dates, and we're going to start sealing those in parafilm. And eventually, what happens is we just, if it gets down to this, we just go buy a new bottle and swap them out. So. Rex is easily distracted. <laughs> They're getting low now. What kind of drone is that? <laughs> That's Chad with a whiskey delivery. Chad, bring it down to us. <laughs> Not the building. No, no. Chad, you're going the wrong, the wrong way. way. Yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> <God. laughs> Don't die. Ah, don't die! <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh no! Rescue the whiskey! Rescue the whiskey! Oh, no, you got it! Stop it! Ah! 
What do we have in there? Perfectly aerated. Oh, there's a remnant. Perfectly aerated whiskey. Wait, is that glass intact? The glass has yeah. survived. I broke one washing one the other day. <laughs> do not spill the precious droplets. Got it. We're comparing it. Yeah. We're gonna need the rest of that bottle uh -huh. to really compare. Yeah, I'll be right back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the people want to know, Chad. Okay. So what so, have we learned? Air, light, and temperature. So you got a long ass time. If it's cool, it's dark, and it's at least halfway full. Yeah. And then with this month, uh, with this yeah, much, you got two months. Month. You, yeah, you got a month or two months. Uh, and if you need help drinking the whiskeys, yeah, just call us. Okay, I have a contribution. Uh oh. Are you ready? No. Oh shit! Ten days. That is not a whiskey. Ten days. No, that is not a whiskey. That is what a big old pour of whiskey turns into. Oh, that can't be true. Yep. What else did you put in there? Nothing, it's just whiskey. You see the ring of sediment? Yes! So you definitely- It smells like uh, rye with a little bourbon. This is a leftover from combining a whole bunch of whiskeys in one of our shoots, isn't it? Yeah. I can still smell exactly what was in there. That's weird. We're gonna try it. It tastes like nothing. Like nothing? Yeah. But it smells really rich. Yeah. It really does smell pretty dramatic. Yeah, I can't taste anything. I mean, there's definitely a flavor in there, but it's it tastes flat and dead and then just water. It's impressive that there's anything left in that at all. Right. All right, so I heard that we got some water tanks today for the distillery. You wanna go check it out? Where are we going, Daniel? I don't know. Depends on whether we can get this golf cart going or not. It's, it's on. No, that's it. not on. That's it not engaging. Yeah. Uh, hey! We're going! Oh, oh! Oh! Why does it smell like burning? Um. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Back! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go check out the distillery. Yes. We're going to be only rain capture for all the water used at our distillery. Hey, you get a little uh, perspective right there. So is that where the rainwater goes in through the? Yep, to the top. Yeah, I got her in a pipe running from the gutter. So how do you keep like bugs and leaves and shit out of there? Yeah, you got a screen. You got a screen. All right. Anything smaller than this can get through, like herpes. <laughs> <laughs> this, that's disgusting. <laughs> you want some of I'm not drinking your whiskey. Herpes edition? <laughs> I actually would probably buy that. <laughs> now what happens? Hey, that noise isn't annoying at all. The golf cart is much more stable in reverse. No, it totally is. Oh crap! There's a wall. <laughs> oh, ah, hold the wheel. It's like the Zilker Park train. <laughs> So they finished the overhang. All right, tell me about the overhang. So this is just cedar planking and then wrapped cedar beams. So you see, uh, hey, check it out. We got the landing. Yeah, that's gonna be the door yeah, yeah. to our office. Is, will that ladder reach up there? Yeah. Oh, that's close enough. You wanna you wanna go up and check it out? Wanna see? You want me to take the camera? So windows are at the perfect height. I mean, look at that. Hold on. <laughs> Stand next to the window, you Yeah, pickle. like I said. The windows were at the perfect height, Rex. <laughs> hey! You <laughs> made the windows. You asshole, look. Hey. <laughs> this gets closed in. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at our front door, Rex. It's the perfect height to get into our office. I have one thing to say. Yeah. <laughs> you try it. Here's the door to the upstairs that Daniel Daniel picked out and designed. <laughs> he turned into a hobbit house. There's a taller I ladder. Know. I know, I didn't grab that one. I'm not really sure why. Yeah. Something about being in this space makes you choose only little things. 